Hey, what's up, everyone? Here is my review for 30 minutes or less. The new action, raunchy, buddy comedy that come out this summer, and hopefully it will be the last raunchy comedy, or just comedy in general, because if you don't know, this whole summer has been filled with raunchy comedies, just raunchy, not even just comedies, raunchy comedies, and this is the last one, I think, not going to hold anything against it, because I'm getting tired of comedies, definitely not, because I was actually looking forward to this film, even when I was getting freaking bombarded with comedies. I was looking forward to this film, so hopefully it lived up to my expectations because I really wanted to see it. Also, it's of course directed by the guy who directed Zombieland, which was one of my favorite films of 2009, so hopefully it was good. Was it good? Let's talk about the story. The story is actually very simple, but actually very original. In the story, you have Jesse Eisenberg and Aziz Ansari's character. Jesse Eisenberg is a pizza load delivery guy, and Aziz Ansari is a teacher. I, I love how I can't say Jesse Eisenberg, but I can say Aziz Ansari perfectly. Fuck. Anyway, I'm, I'm a terrorist. I don't... Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, Jesse Eisenberg is a pizza delivery guy. He gets uh, kidnapped by a whole bunch of douchebag criminal guys. They strap a bomb to his chest, say, hey, go and freaking rob a bank. You have 10 hours. If you don't, you go boom. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg, of course, gets his season sorry to help him. Uh, and they go rob a bank, do other weird stuff, and things go boom, and stuff goes flipping over. And that's the story of freaking 30 minutes or less. I thought it was actually very original, even though I'm, like, free in here, like, oh, oh, it's freaking boring. Look at me. I'm talking all lame and stuff. I actually really liked the story. I thought it was very original. I thought the cast was very likable. There you go. The story, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. The only reason why I'm going to give it an 8 besides higher is because I heard it's actually based on a real story that did not end well for the guy with the bomb on his chest. Uh, let me just show a picture. Yeah, I'm going to paint a picture for you of what happened. This is the guy. Boom! Dead. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks for that guy. Sorry. Rest in peace. Uh, whatever your guy's name was. Sorry. Uh, so, anyway, uh, that's why I'm going to give it an 8 besides like a 9 or something. Let's talk about the acting. The acting, of course, you have Jesse Eisenberg, who plays the straight-edge guy like he always does in films. He does a good job. I liked him. Uh, Aziz Ansari, who I always wanted to see as a, a starring guy, besides just being in a film, a comedy, for about two minutes and that's it. Uh, he always made me laugh when he was in those two minutes, but he was never really the main character. I always wanted to be, uh, see him as the main character, and I got my wish, and he was great. I thought he was very funny. He definitely lived up to what I thought he was going to be as a major star, and I liked him. Hopefully, he'll get more uh, roles like this, because I thought he was very funny. Of course, you have Danny McBride and Nick Swartz, who plays the criminals. I like them both. They're good. They're very funny. They're both great together. Definitely, there's this one scene that involves Jason Voorhees in the beginning. Yeah, it involves Jason Voorhees. It's very funny. If you see the film, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, of course, you have other people like Michael Penn here comes in as the assassin that uh, Danny McBride hires to go kill his fa father. That's a subplot that I didn't talk about. Um, he's very funny. He talks with this weird accent that I thought was hilarious. Uh, it's like something you can't even mimic. He does a great job with that. I thought it was very funny. And Fred Ward, uh, who, who I was like, well, Fred Ward, really? Freaking Remo Williams. Uh, okay. Guy from Tremors, okay? Hmm, that's weird. He was good, whatever. Uh, acting, we'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Everybody was having fun. There was no bad acting, whatever. Right, now, um, the comedy in the film, I will say this. It's not as funny as other films I've seen this year, like Bad Teacher and uh, Horrible Bosses, but it is definitely a very, very funny film. It has a lot of really laugh-out-loud moments. And one thing I have to say that is really good about this film, it's not as long as Hangover or... Uh, uh, the change up that came out last year. Um, reason why is because it's only 80 minutes. It's only 80 minutes. Those other movies were like two hours long, and when there was scenes where it wasn't funny, it was like, oh god, it's all drawn out and it's just not funny. Here, when it's not funny, it's like, oh man, that's not. Oh, next scene, okay. Uh, because it really goes by fast. It's a very fun movie. It's definitely one of those films that you could just go and watch a couple times and just go, oh, it's there's no scene here that's over long and makes me want to skip it. It's like, oh, okay, it's just. Really quick, and I don't care. Very funny film. I really liked it. Comedy, I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. Thought it was very funny. 
Entertainment, I'm going to give uh, Entertainment 8.5 too because I thought it was a very fun movie, very short too, which I really liked. I, I really enjoyed the film. When it wasn't being funny, it was just being entertaining. There was no scenes that made me go, oh god, it's not funny, it's embarrassing, these actors are embarrassing themselves. It was just very, very just fun. I'm, I'm saying very a lot. It, it was fun. Let's just leave it off at that. It was a very entertaining film. This review has been going on way too long for me. Obviously, you can tell that I'm getting a little tired of talking about this stuff. This is like my... I, I've been trying to review... I, I've been trying to record this review for like two hours now. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm terrible at reviewing stuff. So let's just leave it off as an 8.5 for entertainment. This accumulate the scores. I gave a story an 8. Uh, acting at 8.5. Comedy 8.5, Entertainment 8.5, that comes out to be a 33.5 out of 40. There you go, definitely check the film out, go to the theater, bring a friend, bring something to eat. Don't buy stuff at the theater, fuck them. It's just $8 for popcorn, suck my balls. I'll bring a whole freaking thing of popcorn, and I'll pop it right there. I'll bring a, a microwave in. Yeah, no, don't do that. Anyway, there's my review, go see the movie. If you don't, whatever, fuck you.